and welcome to a tutorial over the new mail system in Deal Machine. We're gonna go over how to track your mail, how to create your mail, and how to repeat your mail. We're going to be doing this on web and mobile so you can see how it works seamlessly on both. If you're like Elise, my mail system looks the exact same. You are not on our beta testing platform yet. You can opt into that by going to your mail tab and seeing that it says opt into beta for new mail center. Click into that and you will be seeing everything that I'm about to show you here. So when we click into this, you're going to see in the drop down, it's going to say mail center, postcards and mail sequences. Let's just go straight into the mail center. Mail center is where you're going to see the status of all of your mail. So as you can see here, we have active leads, pause leads and completed leads up here for us, easy to see, and you can click on those and it will show you the list of all of those leads. Then you're gonna see this calendar over here. You can go ahead and click on those dates that have a little green dot and you'll see what mail was sent and the status of that mail. Then you can also go into your mail queue over here. It'll show you how many pieces of mail are in your mail queue and if there are any mail issues. On web, we do put here about how to start your marketing operations of building a list driving for dollars you can check out videos on how to do either of those right above or in the description below you can also go into this filters over here and filter through the designs that you've created or the mail sequences which we will get to in just a minute so when you click onto this calendar feature you're gonna be able to see what is being sent, what is scheduled, and the estimated spend on these. You can also select a date range here. So we can go from the 21st to the 27th and it will show me everything that is sent and everything that is scheduled. Now, moving right on, we're gonna go down to the postcards. So here are the ones that I already have created on web. It will show you a step-by-step -step on how to get your postcards set up. Now, if you have not set up your signature yet, if you click on start mail for all leads, it will ask you to fill in your information, which is your return mailing address, your phone number, and your name. Now I can select the postcards that I've already completed, or I can create a new one. I can also set one as my default mailer, which means that when I press start mail on my lead in my leads tab, that's the mailer that's going to start sending. Now let's say I wanna create a new postcard. So I can choose between all the options we have. We do have ballpoint letters, that six by 11, six by nine, and the four by six. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a four by six postcard. You automatically get to choose from these set templates that we've created for you, or you can create your own. If you're just getting started, I recommend just go ahead and take one of our templates that are pre-made. It's really simple and easy. My personal favorite is our blocks template, which you can go in and like I said, you can customize it or you can just go ahead and save that design. If you already have your signature set up and would like to change that signature, which is your return mailing address, you can go ahead and edit design. If you go in here and you click on signature at the bottom, you can go ahead and change your sign off name, any kind of return mailing address or phone number that you'd like to put on it. If you're in multiple markets and have different phone numbers, you can put different phone numbers for the different postcards that you are sending to each area. If you're intrigued by the fact of multiple numbers in different markets and would like to learn more, please put a comment in our comment section below. We would love to do a video for you if that's what you guys would like to learn about. You can also filter by mail type when you're in the postcards tab. You can filter by, again, all of those sizes. You can also search by the name in the search bar above. So moving right along, we're going down to mail sequences. So this is an extra add-on. It is part of our Mail Plus, and what it, this is is a drip campaign. So you can put on a repeat sequence of the same postcard without this, but this is going to make it super customizable. So that way you're hitting this person with multiple different postcards, different types of marketing. So personally starting off with a ballpoint letter and then doing a four by six postcard and ending with a ballpoint letter. I of course put seven other templates in there just to mix it up so they're not getting the same thing every month. So how to start a mail sequence would be going to new mail sequence, you click the step one. I can go in here and choose a certain postcard, tell how many pieces of mail to send. It will repeat six times here. And then it will go to this next one, which will be the Rochelle number one. And it will repeat this step every 21 days. And then right here, it can say, it'll say auto repeat last step in mail sequence. So I can select that or I can add another step to my mail sequence. And I'm going to make this my default campaign and create.
create. So then I have this here and then I can set this as my first choice. Again, the same like we would for the postcard when you do your first choice, that's going to be your default for when you press start mail on any lead card, that is the mailing sequence that is going to send out. One of the things that you can start doing is testing different mail campaigns to see how they're going. So you can see here the steps that there are active leads, pause leads, and completed leads. You can see how many leads completed this certain campaign. Go back through, see how many actually closed from this campaign and compare which campaign worked best for you. Again, that's a lot to go over, but if you would like to see a video on how to do that further to track your KPIs, comment below to let us know if that's something you all would like to learn more about. Again, this is in its beta testing right now. We'd love for you guys to go ahead, try this out, tell us what you think, please give us feedback. To give us that feedback, be sure to go up into our help and support bubble, open live support, and type in that you've been using this beta feature and something's not working quite right or something's a little confusing or you just have general feedback over the overall product. Looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing what you think of our new mail center. If you're wanting to dive a little deeper into how you can stand out with your mail marketing, check out this video here. We're gonna give great tips and tricks how you can do just that. And as always, Happy deal finding.